Welcome to Buy My Car, a Rocket League game show in which three sellers compete to create a car that best matches a buyer's description. This is our third episode of the series, and so far over 5,000 people have submitted their own dream car request. From that list, we have picked three new contestants. From here, the buyer's job is easy. They don't have to pay for anything. They've already won a free car. They just need to pick their favorite design. For our three sellers, well, these car design experts have to build their version of the contestant's idea, stay under the 4,000 credit budget, and pitch it in a way that hopefully gets their car chosen. This video is once again brought to you by the BOSF Community and Trading Discord. If you want to see more Rocket League item and game show content, make sure you join BOSF and also subscribe to my channel. All right, let's get to our first contestant. All right, Swing Swong, welcome to the show. Now, Swing, usually we start off by me reading to the audience your dream car pitch, but something's a little different this time. I want you to fill in everyone at home what unique situation we're in. I just completely forget what I wrote on the form, so <laughs> it's going to be interesting. All right, so let's see what Swing from the past has planned for you. This is what you wrote. My dream car would be one that gives off a very cyberpunky vibe. Many of the cyberpunk related cars I see are very flashy and have lots of moving details, but I would prefer more of a chill version with slow moving details. So does present day Swing feel good about this pitch? Yeah, I remember doing that. All right, our first designer is Deals. So for the futuristic uh, cyberpunk car, I choose the Ronin as a buddy, like I stated in the application, as it's in my opinion probably the most futuristic looking car out there. And to round that off, we have a combined with a streamlined decal and a purple spiralis. I think it's a pretty clean design overall and I hope you enjoy it. All right, so that was Deals. It feels like he always has at least one purple car in these shows. It's like his go-to color. Yeah. Do you think this is what Swing from the Past was picturing? Yeah, I like the kind of sleek purple color and also the like rainbow on the sprouts adds to it. All right, we're moving on to our second designer, PUBG. Tackerman, log in and it's shaded. Wake up, Samurai. We got a ball to chase. Drive in my city If this neon light dominant Here is a laser beam sound for you Alright, another creative pitch from PUBG Yeah, I really like the color scheme on that one And also the, just the effects in the entire thing Alright, so can't make a decision yet Max, our last salesman, has a car for you as well the cyberpunk theme was my attempt at recreating the city lights with the bright blue and pink colors. Hope you enjoy. Thanks. All right, so Max is a salesman of few words, but he did drop a bit of a change up here. It's a Fennec, which is the Octane hitbox. So when I look back at your submission, you said you main a Ronin, but any car is fine. And I'm not sure if you meant any car within the Dominus hitbox or any car at all. Yeah, I just mean any car at all. Okay, so then this is not a deal breaker. You have three great cars to choose from. I think they all captured that cyberpunky vibe that Swing Song from the past was looking for. Now you have to decide on only one though. I think all of them are really good. I like how there's the diversity in all of them, but I think I'm gonna have to go with the Ronin. Deals car, the purple Ronin. Let's bring it on out for you. Well, congratulations, Swing, and I hope you enjoy your cyberpunk car. Yeah, thank you. Welcome back to Buy My Car. If you are an aspiring Rocket League car designer and want to show off your skills, you may want to come by my streams. Not only will you get a chance to talk or play with me, I also regularly run car design contests based around specific themes, much like this show. You'll find the link to my Twitch in the description and pinned comment. All right, now we move on to our second contestant. Grim, welcome to the show. How's it going, everybody? I'm glad to be here. All right, so we're gonna start out by reading your pitch to the designers. You said, I want a bleak, dark car that makes people think of death. I want anyone who sees the car to fear for their lives. So we're gonna be going dark here with this one, and I guess you're looking for a car that lives up to your name. Why, of course. Well, let's get right into it. Our first sales pitch is from PUBG. Alright, Grim, I hope you're proud of yourself. Do you hear the emotional turmoil you're putting my designers through with this one? <laughs> yeah, I actually love this sales pitch, first of all. <laughs> and the car itself, I actually do like the design of it, especially with the Nether Realm and the Troublemakers. Alright, one down, we move on to Max next. 
The next car is easily my favorite just because of the Cyclone hitbox. I know you asked for a car that makes people think of death when they see it, so maybe this will come close or meet your expectations. So Max goes all the way back to the OG black market decal heatwave with this one and then pairs it with the more recently released Direwolf wheels painted black. So what do you think, Grim? Does this please your dark heart? Oh, I do like the design of this car. First of all, with the pairing of the Dire Wheels and Heat Waves, I tried pairing those two together and I personally did not like how I did it. Oh, these guys are professionals, Grim. Okay. That's, that makes sense. <laughs> well, our final sales pitch is from Deals. Let's see what he has for you. Hey, Grimmy. So in your application, you stated you wanted a car that makes opponents think of death. And yeah, when they see this car, they probably won't think about sweet bunnies. So I think it should have hit the theme here. Um, for the wheels, I went with the Black Madness. For the decal, I went with the Black Market Chlorifier, which is pretty good for its price and also has like a spooky look to it. And for the boost, I went with the Netherworld boost, which fits the green glowing theme of the car. So yeah, I hope you like the design. Uh, so this one went a little different direction, I think, there, Grim. It's not as dark, but it's, like, got the spooky green, I don't know, I'm thinking, like, alien look to me. It still kind of fits, like, the horror, the dark type theme that I'm looking for, especially with the madness wheels, since those are my favorites, trumped only by Hypnotic. All right, so you have an Endo, a Cyclone, and a Dominus to pick from. Which one do you think captured the death theme you were looking for? The car that I would pick would most likely be Max's car. Uh, PUBG was a very close second. All right, Grim. Well, congratulations on your new car, and thank you for joining me. All right, thank you for having me. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you do hit that subscribe button, and also check out the previous two episodes of Buy My Car. We are now at our last contestant, Fire. Welcome to the show, Fire. Hello. All right, so we have your pitch here. You said, I would like a car that looks bold. I like flashy cars with cool hats and vibrant colors. Almost an underground racer type vibe. Okay, so I'm gonna admit this is a pretty open description. What do you expect the designers to do for you here? I kind of expect something kind of like JDM car-like. Very drift car style. With a hat. With a hat. <laughs> okay. Are one of the few people in Rocket League that like toffers? <laughs> yes. All right, well, let's see which direction the designers went. We're starting with Max first. I'm not sure how you can combine an underground racer vibe with cool hats and vibrant colors, so this is what I have to offer. Also, underground racers don't wear hats, but if they did, they'd probably wear different colored mohawk toppers. All right, so Max is calling you out on your contradicting requirements. Uh, it's an interesting sales pitch, but I can't say I disagree with him. Looks pretty clean. Yeah, clean was the word that came to my mind as well, too. Definitely looks like a race car. All right, let's see what Deals has for you. So for the flashy design, I went with the Saffron Street Wave. As the body, I chose the Saffron Samurai. And for the wheels, I chose the Lime Equalizers. Um, I think they all fit together pretty well. And to round that off, we have like the Martin McFly topper, is it, I think? Yeah. Which also has like all the colors who are already in the build in it. And yeah, I think that rounds the build off pretty well. And I hope you enjoyed. All right. So a very bold looking car there. I think the Marty McFly topper from Back to the Future fits that cool hat you were maybe looking for. Yeah, that's a nice touch. Really cool. All right. One more to look at. Our final car is from PUBG. Nine, nine, there's 69, 10, 4, found the suspect, found the suspect, and a really good looking car. Stolen vehicle matches description, sky blue with beautiful pink and gold highlights. We're in hot pursuits. Suspect is Dominic Toretto, aka Vincent Diesel, aka Mark Sinclair. His motto is, I live my life, quarter post in a time. We need to catch this thief and go get that beautiful car delivered, Mr. Firestar. <laughs> All right, a very flashy breakout type S from PUBG. What's your thoughts on this one? Well, I like all the colors on this one. I like the blues and the pinks with the uh, gold accent. It looked very flashy. The whole pitch was also really, <laughs> uh, really interesting. <laughs> yes, that's PUBG for you. All right, now's the hard part. Which car fits the underground racer with a hat look you were hoping for? It's a pretty difficult choice, but I'd say Deals has the best car for my sort of style. I really enjoy the uh, car's flowing design. All right, let's bring that car out for you. Sweet. All right, so that's the underground racer with a hat. <laughs> Very unique pitch. <laughs> Deals did it though. Congratulations, Fire. Enjoy your car. Thanks. And that brings our show to an end. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering how you can be a part of Buy My Car in the future, but I'm sorry. Right now, we will be going on hiatus pending the response to this video. 
If you want to see us do this again, make sure you subscribe and go back and watch the previous episodes if you missed them. Also, to stay informed about if and when we start looking for new contestants, make sure you join my Discord, which is linked in the pinned comment below. My name is Rocket Sledge, thanks for watching.